Thanks for joining me today. This is Jen with Jen Tester Journey, and today we have two beautiful cards we're going to make from this series on Thanksgiving Day cards. So let's pull out some nice fall pattern paper or design paper, whatever you like to call it. And I absolutely love all fall leaves, and so that's going to be our theme for today. So I'm going to take a couple of these large pattern paper sheets and cut them in half or cut them down to about four and an eighth and that'll just allow for this beautiful orange paper to be the border behind it. And so I'm just cutting this down as well, just a little bit. I'm going to put some of my tape runner on the back of this because it's fairly thin paper, so I try not to use liquid glue with these thin pattern paper sheets because it will definitely make it a little bit wavy and you don't want to see that glue through this thinner paper. So I have a few embellishments I'm going to work with today. Right now I'm going to use these really pretty leaves. Everything I use that I can find where I bought it from I put in the description box below and so you'll see these stickers down there and if I can't find the exact ones I will let you know and make a note on there. So I really like how these kind of go along with the coloring of the sheet. I'm trying to make the sentiment work, but I'm not sure it's going to be what I'm looking for here. And I'm certainly going to try it. <laughs> so I'm going to, I took out some copper paper and it's hard to see in this light, but it's copper paper and it's so shimmery. That will just tie it in with the shimmer from these pretty leaves. I bought these leaves because they're super sparkly. They're already up on foam backing, so no extra foam that I need to put along with it. And then that copper piece just ties it together a little bit better. Still not loving it though. I don't like it by itself. I don't love it above it beside it I leave this part in just so you could see that there's sometimes just stuff we need to do to see if we can make it work and so now I'm adding a little bit of vintage photo distress oxide ink to make it not quite as white as it is even though I used off-white paper it just looked a little stark and then I pull in another sentiment to see if that might work better so I just go back and forth and sometimes if I get too tied up in this I'll walk away from it and come back but in this case I kept going and said you know what if I put another leaf in here what would that look like and I do like the smaller of the maple leaves I believe these are maple leaves <laughs> and it doesn't quite fit so I'm going to chop a little bit of that first leaf off and then it will all fit perfectly and they're already sticky on the back because these are stickers and then because they're already raised I'm going to put the sentiment right in the center there with a little bit of Barely Art Precision Craft Glue and we're going to set that side to dry and we'll work on the second one while that first one is drying. And so a lot of you that have been watching my channel for a while know that I really don't like to measure. It's mostly because I measure and I don't usually get it right the first time. So I use this little trick where I just kind of push the paper and I kind of make it to waste the what I want it to to be on either side and that way I can create just a little bit of border there and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but I, it's never too much I can always trim off a little bit more but it usually works out pretty well for me so again just pushing it out double the amount that I want the border to be and then that way you'll see that the border gets to be pretty even all the way around by doing this method and I always pull out my glue and then I'm like no no this is the thin paper I've got to use my tape runner it just, again, won't cause that paper to warp in any way. And then I have this really pretty, it's like velour ribbon, and it's really, really pretty, but I didn't like the sentiment, so I'm going to add, use a little bit of my scrap, and we all love to use up our scraps. And so in this case, even though I don't have a scrap that's the exact right size, if you just butt it up against the other side, nobody will ever know that you cut it and it was two pieces. Use up your scraps. It makes us feel good and, and and then we don't have to throw anything away or try and use this for another project. So I tend to like to use my scraps. And I just wanted a little bit of a border there and I thought it would look a little bit better. And then I'm going and doing the same thing. This paper, because it's a little bit darker, I thought it looked a little bit better when I put the Vintage Photo Stress Oxide ink on it. So it looks a little bit more rustic and fits that paper a little bit better. And then this velour ribbon is just beautiful. The camera doesn't give it its justice because it is just beautiful. And it's got like a shiny piece on the back. So I think it's going to glue on pretty nicely. That's the one thing about ribbon if you're going to use it in this fashion. Sometimes I have to glue it a couple of times before it actually will glue because it kind of melts into the fabric. But this has kind of a plasticky fabric, or at least feels a little bit fast plasticky. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of tape on here as well just to make sure that it adheres down nicely and doesn't come off of our card. It's pretty with that little sentiment there. It almost looks like a buckle. And then I've got these rustic looking little leaves and I think they're so cute. I'm glad I was able to use them in this project because the leaves match very well with the background but they're all different colors and then I'll be able to poke them into that ribbon and we'll kind of take one of each color and stick them in there and I think this is really pretty. They're, they're kind of a papery leaf but they did a good job of making them look real rustic and actually like real leaves. This is one of my favorite Thanksgiving cards of all the ones I've made in this series. So this series has one that I've already made that you'll be able to see. This is the second one in the series where we're making these two cards today and then I have a fun silly set of Thanksgiving cards that will be the part three. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and we need to get our cards ready. So I hope you like this series. I like to do mostly these kinds of cards where they're elegant and pretty and fall-like, but then you always need to have a couple fun ones for those relatives or friends that you have that would enjoy the fun ones. So I have a few of those and those will go to the families that have my grandsons and my granddaughter and I know the kids will get a kick out of it. So stay tuned for that. Just making sure that these are, leaves are adhering real nicely. I left a little bit of space because I liked that little branch, that piece that was in the center there. And so I just turned this over and I'm putting a little bit of foam tape on the back of it. Because of the ribbon, it's really hard to get it lit to lay flat if you don't use foam tape. And so I put foam tape on either side of it and then just put, put foam tape on the rest of it. And then it should lay nice and even across the card base. Okay, looks like enough foam tape. So let's pull off the backing. We'll press that down and that is a card that we just need to do something on the inside. So since these are made out of paper I think it would be pretty easy to press those down. So I'm going to take this little brown one and we're going to press it down on the inside just to make it all look like it coordinates and that's the beauty of card making is letting it all coordinate. So some of my leaves are curling up a little bit so I'm going to put a little bit more glue and this card is just about done. I decided to add a strip of the design paper to the bottom of the card, or the pattern paper to the bottom of the card, and that will finish off that card very nicely. But then I took out my Wink Up Stella, and here we go, putting a little bit of sparkle on this card. The sentiment was just a little bit boring, so I thought I would jazz it up with a little bit of sparkle. And you guys know me, I go crazy when I get out my Wink Up Stella. <laughs> because it just looks great. It doesn't matter where you put it. It just adds a little bit of shimmer. It catches your eye just as you move the card around, and I'm never afraid to use too much Wink of Stella. Okay, so back to that first card. It is nice and dry now, so I am just going to put a little bit of Barely Art Precision Craft Glue on the back, and we'll get this adhered to the card base, and then we're also going to put something on the inside of this card. I'm going to add the orange piece to a piece of the pattern paper, and I like to also make them all a little bit different too. And I think that one came out really pretty. It was one I was a little hesitant about at the beginning, but it came out really cute. So put a little bit of Handmade by Gentastic Journey on the back, and here's a look at the card that we did from part one in this series. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it above. And also, here's our cards from today. So this one came out really cute. Again, I wasn't so sure what I wanted to do with it at the beginning. And then here's the last one with those really pretty paper leaves. I think that came out pretty with that suede kind of ribbon. And then this is another card I made, and I'm not doing another one on this because it's similar to the one I did in part one, but I just put a little bit of ribbon in the back and some more stickers. And again, this one is very similar as well. I used a piece of cardstock and made that center ribbon. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you would, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this content and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.